In this episode, we play Frankenstein and bring back to life a doll photo. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to episode 102 of my photography, Lightroom, and Photoshop tutorials. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in Paris, and twice a week, I make tutorials and I offer for free the raw files that go with it. If you have not yet subscribed, it's totally free. All you have to do is click here to subscribe. Last week, I showed you how to retouch and stitch different photos to get this result. It was a panel of a cherry tree uh, next to uh, my garden here in Paris. Today, I'm going to show you how to bring back some life into a very dull photo. This is the before photo. It's a beautiful bridge, the Alexander III bridge in Paris with the view of the Invalide. But it's dull, it's got no life. There was a nice light, but it was a bit more on the right and somehow, you know, the camera did not capture the light. So with a few brush tricks, I'll show you how to bring it back to life like this. You know, we're going to play Frankenstein and bring it back to life. So let me show you how we do this right now. All right, mesdames and messieurs, so before we get started in the tutorial, I'm going to offer you for free the raw file that goes with the tutorial. It's a 36 uh, megabytes of uh, 36 million pixel file from a Sony A7R, and you can download it by going to News, Sign Up, and here you can just put your name and email, and you sign up for the newsletter, and you will get the raw file for this and all the past episodes. You're talking over 100 raw files. This is how it looks. So you see I've got 101 episodes and for each episode you can just click on the episode and view it and download the raw file that goes with it. So it's really raw files from all over the world. Um, a lot of people don't understand why I'm giving all this for free, but I am. And uh, you know, some of you guys do buy my uh, paid courses and it helps support the podcast and it helps me give you all that free stuff. So it's a lot, it's hours of tutorials and hundreds of raw files. Also, uh, if you want to support the podcast, spring is coming. I have a 40% discount uh, back again. We did it last month. It worked very well until March 21. You have to use the code SPRING2014 and you can get 40% on all my full training. And in my full training, I go a lot more deeper than I go into uh, you know, my weekly tutorials. So talking about my weekly tutorials, well, here is this week's tutorial. Let's go to Lightroom and this is the raw files we're going to be playing with. I shot this last night as a, there was a really nice sunset in Paris and I shot this last night. And um, one of the problem you have with uh, photography is that sometimes you've got nice sunset and they come out pretty dull on your raw file. That's the case, you know. Actually here it was very red and it was, the sun was here on the right. And it was, you know, when I look at that raw file, I says, where did the sunset go to, you know? Uh, the, you know, it, it's true, it was more on the right, but you know, there is colors missing here. So uh, it is an art in Lightroom to bring back life to a photo, bring back the color. And that's what we're going to try to do with this in this tutorial. So let's jump into the develop module and let's do uh, the my workflow, which you must know by now, which is open up the shadows at 100. Now check this out. On the Sony A7R, it's pretty crazy. You know, it was all dark under the bridge. Uh, you know, there is a bit of, of grain, but not that much. You know, it can hold down to uh, the plus 100. Now, the photo is a bit, I think I moved a little bit. It's not top sharp, but it's still cool. You know, it's sharp here and it's uh, it could be uh, sharper. I've had, you know, I think I moved a little bit, but it's still fine for what I want to show you today. And uh, bring down the highlights. I'm going to do my white point. So press the Alt key and move the whites to the right until we hit something which is completely white and back back it down okay uh, and then you well that's too much i'm going to bring it down and the black points same thing i'm going left until i see some blacks and then i back it down and then i just look at it until it's something that i like okay now we have to bring back some life to this photo it's kind of dull you know i mean it's better already you know if i do a backslash key before after it's a bit better but it's still pretty dull so First, the white balance. I usually, for white balance, go to shade uh, on this type of things and add a bit of magenta, which is what I'm going to do on this one. Already, this brings back a lot of color. You see, having the right balance is very important because white balance is completely an arbitrary number, completely 
especially for landscapes, based on your own artistic feeling. You know, I'm just trying to communicate to you the emotion I had watching that sunset last night in Paris. Yes, guys, that's all I'm trying to communicate. And so bringing the white balance can help. Now let's go to the um, cropping tool and uh, I wanna make sure it's straight. So I'm gonna use the angle and I'm gonna use the roof of the Invalid. This is called the Invalid. This is by the way, the Alexander III bridge. And what you see here is the Invalid. It's, uh, this is where Napoleon used to have his army. It's a beautiful plaza. And this is one of, if not the most beautiful bridge in Paris. So, okay, and then while we are at it, let's see if we can hide some of uh, this boat here and this horrible tree, because spring is not quite there yet. See if we can cut that out of the photo so we are like more on the bridge. Okay, uh, that's better, but this is not a very, this is crooked and I don't like that. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna rotate the, the photo until this is kind of straight. And um, what's gonna happen, and that happens often, is that, you know, this is now straight, but now this is crooked. So if I go back and I put this straight, this is not straight and this is crooked. So that happens a lot. So what you have to go is you go in the middle, okay, you click on done, and then you go to, um, you can go to lens correction, you can go to basic and try auto, see if it does something good with it. And uh, actually it does. Yeah, it did pretty uh, well job. Auto did it pretty well, it just brought back the boat. So I have to take it out again. And uh, yeah, it corrected what I had, okay. So I really wanna be on the bridge, you know, on the bridge. Okay, we got a couple of dust here to take care of, so let's do that first. Boom, boom, because dust does drag attention. So now that's the basic idea of, uh, you know, we really see the bridge, we really see the invalid. It's already coming to life. Now let's take care of the sunset. It was warm here and it was not so warm here. And the one thing I love to do with sunset is give it two colors, cold on the top, warm on the bottom. So let's do the cold on the top first. So I'm gonna use two gradients. Gradient number one, mesdames et messieurs, gradient number one. Press the Alt key to reset everything. I'm just gonna add a bit of blue, a bit of magenta and lower the exposure. All I'm trying to do is densify the sky, make it a bit darker, you know. So one thing that happens when you do that, it, it makes this a bit darker. Sometimes, not every time, opening up the shadows uh, yeah, and this time it kind of worked. Opening up the shadows is gonna still densify the sky, but it's gonna bring back details in the darkest part of the filter. So that's really cool. So now I'm gonna do it again. Okay, I'm gonna do a new filter, a new density filter, but this time I'm gonna make a smaller one just to close the photo. Just a little bit here on the top, you know, uh, just to make that so we have, it's, it's hard to, to bring back a sky only with one uh, neutral density, you really, you really have to do two. One, two, okay? So now we've, we've done that, we're gonna use the brush to bring back some of the reds and the warm colors that was there at the bottom. So we take the brush, we make sure that flow is at 100, no sorry, that feather is at 100, but that flow and density is around 80. The reason is we don't wanna see the brush strokes. Okay, then I'm gonna, put exposure at zero. I'm just gonna warm things up seriously here. So I'm putting, you know, temperature and tint to the right in the warm colors. And let's bring back the sun. Let's bring the sun back, guys. Where is the sun? The sun was here. Now it's kind of back. Ah, oh, it was gone, but it's back. I love it. Okay, you can even if you're crazy like me, but that's only if you're crazy like me, you know, you, you maybe you need to get some help. Uh, you just you can add even more saturation. I, I'm a saturation addict, you know, I, and I've tried to stop it many times, but I cannot, you know. I just can't help saturate photos. I know people hate me for that, and some like it, you know, but that's me, I just love colors. And no, it's a bit too much, maybe. Okay, so, you know, if you think it's too much, you can always, you know, press erase and uh, just lower the flow, lower the density and do it again until you have something which is a bit more subtle and that fits to your needs, you know. Now that's maybe a bit more subtle, you know. So yeah, and uh, actually you can make a new brush, lower the flow intensity and just a little bit above that. So you just, it just helps to make a little gradient. 
Okay, so now we've got a, a more decent sky and it looks like more what I was seeing uh, last night. Now, one more trick I want to show you, which is pretty crazy, is that I want to add, uh, I love, you know, uh, the moment I actually take my photos is not that moment, is the moment the city lights comes on. I always wait about four or five minutes so they warm up really well and that's when I shoot. And then about 10 minutes later, I stop. The reason is, uh, it gets too contrasty afterwards. It, it's just, you know, too hard for the camera to get details everywhere. And I want to get details everywhere. I want to get details in the sky. I want details in the shadow. I want details everywhere, okay? So now, I'm, I'm zooming in and I'm going to take a brush. And this time, I'm going to put my flow and density back at 100%. I'm going to keep uh, my brush pretty warm and I'm going to boost the exposure. And then with the middle mouse, I just make sure that my brush is about the size of, of the lamp and I click one time. Okay, and I just, you know, just like at the beginning of the century when, uh, you know, Thomas Edison and his staff would, you know, light up the, the lights of New York. Well, here I am doing the same thing. It's crazy. Okay, maybe light this one up. And I'm just putting some lights on. Okay, there, this is a two lamp two bulb lamp so it takes a bit of time you know but I just love the feeling of uh, you know the lights are on you know that's the, that's the that's what I'm going for you just have to make sure that your your uh, you know with the middle mouse you just change the side of your brush and that it's not uh, how can I say it's not too big because it's gonna put hollows around and there is a an international association against hollows in the photographic world yeah, people are fighting, uh, voting against hollows everywhere in the world. I don't know why, but it's people hate hollows, so I don't go for hollows, you know. All right, so I'm just, you know, lining this thing up. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm a bit crazy today. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood because uh, I'm always in a good mood when I come back with a good photo shoot. And I went shooting last night and brought this photo and many more. And it was an amazing light in Paris last night. You have to come, guys. It's just one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Uh, I can't help it. Anyways, uh, so let's do this. It takes a bit of time, but you know, and the good thing about it is we did this with one brush, meaning that when I'm finished, if, if uh, you have to look at it from, uh, you know, 100% and determine if it's too much, okay? You see, if I think it's too fake or too much, I can just back down the value, you know? But uh, I think it's kind of cool. I don't think anybody would notice, honestly. You know, because that's really how they look when they just turn on, you know? They're pretty, yeah, it's a bit too much maybe. I don't know, I'm just gonna find out which one it is. This is this brush and um, no, it's not this brush. It must be this brush. No, no, it's this brush. Oh, that's right, I did several brush. That's this brush. Okay, I just wanna back down slightly the value. Okay, yeah, remember that when you wanna find out what, what you brushed, every brush is a pin. So if I hover over that pin, I can see in red where I brush. If I hover over that pin, I will see in red where I brush. If I over that pin, I will see in red. And if I, if I want to change what the brush did, I can just click on it and I select it. And then I can, you know, I just can, you know, back it up uh, and really turn them on, you know, uh, add even saturation, you know, to make it really crazy. Or I can back it down a little bit, you know. Wanna, because they are very yellow, the lights in Paris. So that's a bit the idea. And um, okay, just as a final touch, because I cannot help it, I'm gonna create a new brush. I'm, you know, this is really a brush tutorial. Reset, and I'm gonna boost the exposure. Uh, make sure flow and densities are on 90. You have to ch check your flow and density every time. Just wanna add a bit of light here, but that's way too much. I'm gonna back it down. Just want a bit of, of reflection here. You know, and then some right roll circles also. You make a right roll circle. You make sure you click on invert mask. Make sure your feathering is at 100%. You know, and just add a bit of uh, of dodge and burn, you know, of dodging. I duplicate it, and then I'm gonna put it here. I duplicate it. I'm gonna put it here, make it bigger. I just wanna complexify the light a little bit. Maybe even put this one a bit stronger, you know. But if you follow my tutorials, you know that's part of my workflow you know, and, uh, and voila. So the city of light is now turned down. Let me show you the before and after. So backslash key, boom, before, boo, dull, after. Wow, 
Paris lights are on. So little tricks to play around with brushes guys. Let's go back to the studio. All right guys, I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you do subscribe to my channel to get weekly free tutorials and free raw files and free love from France. And I'll see you in the next episode. Au revoir.